Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Goddess's Space. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. This message is for the sign of Virgo. So if you have Virgo anywhere in your natal chart, this message is for you. Don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that post notification bell button so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. And thank you so, so much for sharing my videos. That is so much appreciated, Virgo. Thank you so, so much. All right, let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what spirit has for you this week, Virgo. Starting you off with the nine of coins, 10 of knives, five of baskets, ace of baskets. All right, let's see. This is interesting. You have the, uh, okay, this card came out, so I'm gonna have to pull it on out. You have the daughter of knives, okay, to start you off. Daughter of knives is somebody who is quick-witted, who is intuitive, who um, people naturally draw to you because of um, that light or that spark that you have. All right. So I'm going to keep that out for a reason. OK, you have the ace of coins and the nine of coins. You have the ace of baskets and the nine of baskets. That is interesting ace and nine ace and nine so maybe the number 19 is significant to you maybe the number one is significant to you uh maybe the number 10 is significant to you i feel like this is interesting but we're going to get into it and see what it, uh, exactly spirit is trying to say to you or wanting to say to you i'm going to pull some more clarifying cards here from my oracle deck to get a clearer picture for you virgo but i feel like i know what this is about yeah all right virgo here it is all right you have this message of warning here that shows up for you um there is a relationship here you have the ace of baskets and the five of baskets ace represents new opportunities new potential and growth Baskets represents the matters of the heart, feelings, and emotions. Five represents change, transformation, and conflict. I feel like for you, there's something going on in your uh, in your heart chakra, something that you need healing from yourself, okay? I feel like for you, Virgo, there has been some loss here um, for you, and you have begun to... Um, make a relationship with somebody or something um that has not been all the way healthy for you this is why you have the those uh message of warning also with the nine of baskets your your money your financial situation comes up as well because here's the thing virgo because of this loss because of your um, not able to move on from this, because of your not able, um, not being able to heal from this, you developed um, patterns of addiction. You developed patterns of um, unhealthy relationships, uh, Virgo. And you have this card that says fierce and it came out in reverse. And it Although you feel like you are not afraid to face certain situations head on, um, or you try to act like you're not afraid of what's to come in your future, you are though. You put up this front like, you know, I'm straight, I'm good, I'm, I'm just going to take care of it, I'm just going to deal with it. But that's not what's happening, Capricorn, or excuse me, and maybe you may be dealing with the Capricorn. I just got done with the Capricorn reading. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe you have Capricorn in your chart. Um, and I feel like for you too, Virgo, you are afraid of this detachment. You are afraid of healing by yourself. And you feel like as long as you keep these relationships within yourself, as long as you keep these type of um, addictive patterns, um, this gives you a sense of normalcy. This gives you a sense of sanity, but for what it is doing for you, 
Virgo is giving you a false sense of security. Spirit wants you to deal with that. Okay, let's go in with number 20. Um, let's see what spirit has to say to you. Okay, with this fierce card, Capricorn. Let's see. Let's read this from your higher self. All right. From your soul, Virgo. It says, part of your energy is frozen in fear, which can interfere with our connection. But the fear is not to be fled from. Fear is positive when it comes as a warning. Part of you feels in danger. I invite you to understand why. Why do you like talking to me? Why do you feel like talking to me endangers you? Why are you afraid of being in touch with yourself or listening to yourself? All the counsel and messages I have for you are positive. They are here to help you move forward sincerely or serenely. But maybe you don't want to have them quite yet. Do not try to run from this fear. Pay attention to what it's warning. You will open your eyes to important things and move forward in a new way. It's like part of your energy is frozen from two years ago. Maybe it was an unrelated, maybe it was a related event, relationship or situation. Since then, a kind of fear has taken root. It has become your guide and is hindering your progress. And like I said, Virgo, you develop this false sense of security and wrapping yourself up in addictive patterns and addictive behaviors and addictive relationships. You're in this relationship currently, Virgo, because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like there is life still yet to live. You uh, create more of this relationship when you um, add more to the relationship. Maybe you're adding um, more uh, business risk or money risk. So then it keeps you in it keeps you in the in this type of relationship because now it says now we have to work together to get our money problems situated. So as long as we're together, we can still coexist in this way. But for you, it, again, you're creating addictive patterns um, within yourself as a sense of security. But that's not healthy, Virgo. It's not healthy. It's not healthy to bring someone else along in your mess. I'm just going to tell it how it is and say it how it is. This is not healthy for you. It's not healthy with, for the person that you're in this relationship or partnership or friendship with. Okay, this is a codependent type. Pardon me. Confirmation verb. This is a codependent um, type of relationship. So listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition in this time, Virgo. Don't be frozen in fear any longer. Face your fear. See what it has to tell you and allow yourself to be free. This is why you need to make this disconnection so you can free yourself and so you can free the person that you have involved your, in your relationship. Okay, Virgo? You have this card that says the Ace of Coins and the Nine of Coins. Ace represents new opportunities, potential, and growth. Coins represents finances and security. Like I said, you have created a false sense of security, Virgo, for yourself and for this relationship. This is not healthy. You want the money. You want your life to evolve. You want things to be different for you in your lifetime. As far as your finances are concerned, they will get better for you when you decide to leave, when you decide to choose you. When you decide to choose healing, you are not going to heal. You are not going to grow as long as you are in this relationship, Virgo. It's time to move it around. It's time to move some things around. Spirit also wants you to change the way you see your financial situation, Virgo. Um, for you, with the four of coins, four represents grounding, manifestation, and stability, Coins represents finances and security. Again, you have been in such a scarcity mindset for so long. You don't know how to appreciate 
nice things. You don't know how to appreciate the good things that come into your life. You don't know how to just settle into what's good for you. For you, it's all about, I need more, I need more, I need more. When you need to be grateful for the things that you do have now. So then, so then when God does bless you with more, you're able to appreciate the more. But you try to get more now, you're not going to be able to appreciate the more. You're not going to be able to appreciate the better because you're not you're not grateful for what you already have. When you are grateful for what you have, you start treating it a little bit better. But if you just have stuff given to you and not really um, accepting or taking care of what you have, then you're going to squander it every time. So Virgo Spirit wants you to change your relationship with your finances as well. But again, you're not going to be able to do that as long as you're in this relationship. Okay. Spirit wants you to move on, move around. All right. You have this card that says 10 of baskets, or excuse me, 10 of sticks. 10 represents the ending of a cycle. Sticks represents power and authority. Spirit wants you to lay your burdens down. You're holding on to, to, on to too much. You have too much on your shoulders. You are uh, making more problems for yourself than you need to. Just lay the sticks down. Lay your baggage down. Okay? I know this was a, a painful time for you from the things that you needed to heal from. And it felt like you barely made it out alive. You had your heart ripped from you. And I get that. But now it's time for you to focus on that feeling. Focus on that healing. You're using this relationship and you're using this situation as a distraction from your healing. And this is what spirit wants for you, Virgo. Spirit wants you to heal with the seven of sticks. Seven represents self-reflection, self-assessment and control. You need to take control. One of you are going to have to speak up <laughs> and say, you know what? This isn't working. And it may just have to be you, Virgo. But a part of you feels like if I say that, then it makes it permanent. And that means I have to do the work on myself. And I'm not sure if I want to go that route, but you're going to have to do it, okay? Know that you're not alone. You're never going to be alone, okay? You have this card that says, I am not alone. You're not going to be ever alone. You're going to have help. You're going to have people to support you and do what it is you need to do. But this situation has gone on long enough. This relationship has gone on long enough. And it is time, Virgo, for you to make that disconnection. I know it sucks. I know. But you know it. You feel it. I'm just giving you the confirmation. I'm helping you face the hard truth. But you know what needs to be done. You have this card that says live in the now. Yes, those things happened in the past, but you're still focused on what happened in the past. You can't change it. You're here now. Be here. Be in this present moment. Forgive yourself. Forgive the past and move on. You have this card that says, speak your truth. Again, speaking up. One of you is going to have to say, listen, we just might as well go ahead and separate. Doesn't mean you, doesn't, you don't love this person, but you also need to love yourself more, Virgo. You need to love yourself more and choose you. Okay, so take action. Do what you need to do to set yourself up for success. You're going to have to be selfish in this moment. All right, Virgo, that is your message. Best of luck to you in all of your endeavors. All right, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed. Leave me a comment and let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you're healing. Okay. Uh, thank you again for sharing. Hit that post notification bell button so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. And Virgo, if you haven't heard it today, know that I love you. You are loved. You are worthy. And you are worth it. Take care, Virgo. Peace.